Previously on Yakuza Kiwami. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, it's all kinds of wrong! And now back to the thought provoking story about one man struggle to stick to his values. Sneako B! Back with some more Yakuza Kiwami. When we last left off, we finally confronted Nishiki. And it's just fucking sad, man. I just, I feel really bad for Nishiki. I, ugh. I fucking like doctor run away with the money. Shit was painful, though. God. But the good news, at least Majima came back. Only to sort of lose him, like, two seconds later. God damn, I got caught up with that real quick. But anyway, if everything is going as it should, this video should be in 60 frames per second. And if it isn't in 60 frames per second, Fuck! I'm sure future Nico will come in and be like, well, this is what stupid shit happened this time that caused it not to be. The motherfucker, all right? The problem will definitely not be because I have a weak-ass computer, because that's right, motherfucker. If you haven't been keeping up, I uh, just recently got a, a new PC. It was a big upgrade to my last one. Uh, basically, a much more powerful processor, but my last processor, I think, had like two or three cores, maybe, or maybe only one. I don't even know how many cores it had, honestly. But this one's got eight. <laughs> this next one's got eight. And it's like like an eighth generation one. Well, my last one was the third generation. And uh, that that's a lot of generations. I mean, my last computer was three years old. Um, I've got a 1080 Ti graphics card, which is a bit stronger, although my last one was a 970. So I mean, that was that was still a good one. But uh, a 1080 uh, Ti is like the, the top of the line. I also got a lot more RAM. Before I only had eight gigabytes, uh, and now I've got 32. <laughs> when I had talked to the uh, the Camtasia guys about like like what's the best stuff to make 60 FPS videos, they recommended 16. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go 32 then. <laughs> I'm gonna take it up another notch. We'll make sure this shit fucking works. And I've also got finally my first solid state drive. I've never owned one of these before. And oh my god, it is like night and fucking day between that and an H. HDD like regular hard drive like holy shit. It is so Blazingly fast you just, you, you honestly it's it's hard to to fathom until you actually see it and then you're just like oh my god Like how have I lived up to this point? I mean honestly my last computer was pretty fast and I remember when I when I got it I remember thinking it was really quite fast too because I was a big jump from my laptop which I was using at the time <laughs> to use the to make those RPG maker videos, which look like absolute garbage now like oh my god This thing is so fast it like turns on and off like almost instantaneously When I install things it takes less than like a minute for it to, to finish doing it It's like it's just it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy guys. But anyway, so finally 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 I'm hoping to God Second time's the charm. Hopefully that this is a uh, 60 FPS endeavor will work out this time um, And if not well, just I, I'm sure I'll have a reason to record later, but it's got me excited You know this uh, I think will be a big jump in quality for uh, Videos on the channel, you know at least that's my hope. So anyway, it's time for us to do some incredible Insanely action-packed things to show off this awesome 60 FPS so let's play some Mahjong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I didn't want to show you guys. I have uh, I have gone quite far in the rankings here. Not actually going to play. But I have to go in here to show the rankings. Check this shit out. Boom, baby. Number two. I've only got one more person to beat. And that's Tile Demon. I'm almost there. And then I will be the Lord. And I believe I'm actually supposed to get something if I, uh, if I become uh, rank number one. So... I will say that AI is truly becoming kind of bullshit though, but I have actually I've learned something that like I feel like It's an essential gameplay mechanic that they just didn't explain at all like how to do it in the game that made things so much easier But if anyway if you're playing the I'm just gonna I'm not gonna explain the details of it But if you're playing uh, the game just remember that when you have only one tile that you need to win the game Hit square and you can declare Rishi. That is, that was the key, is you gotta click square. And I did it, I only stumbled upon that shit. I know you could click square for a few other things, but I didn't realize that's how you declared Rishi. There, there are other ways where like, you can declare Rishi f uh, from like, where it'll just automatically pop up based on your hand. 
and I thought that was the only way to do it. But you can actually do it manually yourself, and it's so much better, and it makes the game so much easier. Seriously, that's what the AI does, not the wazoos. The clear Rishi at the, like, just crazy. And basically what that means is it, it, it lets you get a better hand. You'll get basically more points at the end. And it, it, it seriously helped things a lot. But anyway, so I got one guy to beat. And I actually have gotten some other things, though, from just working to that point. Like, I got this, I think it's my most recent thing, the, the Lotus Clan Broadsword. This famous broad, famous sword passed down through the Lotus Clan is a remarkably durable blade. Uh, oh, yes, it's got 20 durability. Um, I also got this thing, I'm actually, which I'm actually going to put on, a head honcho scarf. A stylish scarf befitting a person of influence. Make you less likely to be confronted by low-level goons and boost financial luck. So, I... Yes, it means I won't be rushed all the time. I'm I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like the equivalent of the, the silent shoes or, or what exactly. But anyway, I've had a lot of you guys say that this is probably a primer opportunity to do a good number of side quests because, well, the story starts to really pick up after this moment. But I've also heard that when Majima comes back, I think he said at chapter 10, um, he doesn't go away beyond that point. But he also becomes, I guess, more aggressive. Like he's like truly everywhere. Uh, to the point that it might get in the way of like just doing regular sub stories and Majima does like his thing really does take up a l big chunk of time a lot of times in episodes uh, so I think it's probably a good idea so uh, we've got quite a few how many how many have I done now 44 out of 78 so I still got 34 to go I know a good number of them are probably gonna be the Mesu King like multiple uh, side quests from that as well as the uh, the pocket circuit thing uh, I think I'm gonna go, like, I know I got those to do, and those are rather large ones, but, um, I'm hoping, god damn it, I swear to god, this 60 FPS thing doesn't work this episode, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed, but it's my hopes that 60 FPS is, is gonna work, now that I've got a strong PC, so I kinda feel like I wanna do some, like, stuff that involves me running, like, actually beating dudes up and shit, you know? So let's go, put my head in some of these other ones. Like, what's this? Uh, no, not you. Oh, start one of Stardust. Uh, it's actually kind of weird because you can't actually see it when you're on, on the inside. So, I'm just gonna just run around till something happens. Oh, do I gotta go through? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, something wrong. Oh, hi, Kiryu san. Looks like Kazuki san's got a problem. Does he? Mm -hmm. It sounds pretty serious. There's nothing I, nothing I can do. Honestly, I'm worried I'd just get in the way if I tried. Huh. I know the feeling. I can't help but get in front of problems. I know it's rude of me to ask after you've done so much for our club, but do you think you can help us out again? Well, Kazumi's always been there for me. Which, I mean, he's done maybe like one thing, and I've done like 30 for him, but sure. I'll go talk to him and see what's up. <laughs> really? Thank you very much. Hmm? I will say I have rather enjoyed the, uh, the fact that a lot of these sub-stories have focused on uh, the side interactions for, like, other minor characters that you encountered in the main story, you know, not like, uh, you know, like Majima's uh, hostesses, you know, who don't show up in the main story, really, or Kiryu's uh, assistant and his real estate stuff. I mean, they are, they are still connected to the main story, but I don't know, I, I just kind of like that, you know, it's like, we're getting more background for these guys that are also important to the story. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Sorry, I didn't intend to you sooner, Kiryu-san. No worries. Something the matter. Hey. What can Daddy do for you? Yes, it's a business issue. But we've really been losing customers lately. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Really? Everyone's always saying that Stardust is the most popular host cub in Kamurocho. True that, but something, something fishy's going on. Fishy? Yup. I was reeling in customers outside the club when one of our regulars passed me by. So I asked her why she hasn't come in recently. And she said, I found a much better place to be met. Better than any host club. We've got a real competitor. The rumored party. Better place to meet people? Yes, Kamarucho's night younger nightlife crowd has been spreading rumors about some kind of reoccurring party. Mm. It's affecting the entirety, entire host club industry here in town. That's just us. So I'm trying to be proactive about it. Mm. But since we paste our faces on the club signage, we can't even go there to check it out on the sly. What if we have to just give up? <laughs> yes, that's the answer. <laughs> and then the side quest says, Yay! 10,000 experience for me. Looks like they're facing a serious problem. Uh, <laughs> be an ass and leave. No. I am new 60 frames per second. Cosmic Kiryu. And I will not let this stand. Hmm, I see. Well, the public 
doesn't know my face mostly. Uh, I'm gonna be really mad at myself too because I'm talking about 60 frames per second this whole fucking episode. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm just gonna look like a total asshole, aren't I? I'm just gonna look like a fucking asshole. Pardon? I gotta go check out the party. Might get fucked up. Might even fuck a girl or two. What? No, no. This is entirely your problem. It'd be unthinkable to put this burden on your shoulders too. Hey, don't sweat it. You've always done right by me. Now it's my turn to lend a hand. Mm. If that's your stance, then we're happy for all the help we can get. Th thank you, Kiryu-san. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. With Kiryu-san on our case, on the case, our problems are practically solved already. <laughs> okay, I think, I'm think i sorry that you guys rely on me a little too much. So what do I need to do? Girl here might, might know something about what's going on. We should talk to them, then infiltrate the party. Tell us what's going on in there. We appreciate it. Uh. Got it. Thank you. If you find out anything, please let us know. Okay. Should ask the clientele if they heard any rumors. Hey, you guys know where I get some drugs? Uh, dude, look around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Drugs are everywhere, man. It's the fucking... Uh, oh, wait, it's early early 2000s. Yeah, I guess. Probably more of an 80s thing, but, you know, that works, too. Hey, can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Huh, Nani? Who are you? I'm an acquaintance of Kazuki. I wanted to ask you something about something. What about? You know about these parties that have been popular lately? I hear you have a, you can have a good time there, if you know what I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard something about that. I heard they ran out of club to the, to hold the party. They're invite only. But if you're in, you'll find someone to hook up with for sure. Sweet. So you know a lot about it. Have you ever been to one? Mm. I'm not looking for that kind of thing. I just like being indulged by handsome men. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the right place, then. <laughs> Thanks for the information. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. So, it's invite only. Probably won't be able to get into the party unless I'm invited by someone who's been to one of these before. Okay. What about you? Hey, do you have a minute? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it, mister? I want to ask you something. <laughs> sure, sure, hon. Oh, thanks. Do you know about these parties that have been popular lately? Or you can have a good time there? Oh, I've been to one. The one held at Devil in Theater Square, right? Nanny. Nanny? Really? Went to one once up once because I was invited by a friend. But I wasn't really into it since I already have a boyfriend. <laughs> oh man, how kinky does this place get? They have orgies on a regular basis. Oh sweet, sign me up! Oh really? Thanks for the information. So the party's held a double up, Theater Square. This is all I'll I'll get here. Devil is up next. Mm. Um excuse mm. me. Huh? <laughs> You interested in the party? I can get you in, if you want. Really? That'd be great. Because you start us so smart your type, huh? Yeah, not really. I think men and women should connect with their hearts. Not with that music, cheap suits, and sucking dick. I came here for the last time to confirm that theory. But paying for some host's drink is getting me nowhere. Heard that at this party, you can find someone to connect with on a deeper level. <laughs> yeah! That's what they say. How about you? Do you want in or not? <laughs> Yeah, I won't hit. I, I'm, uh, totally interested. I'm rock hard. Could you get me in? No problem. The benefits is both if I introduce a man, too. My name's Tomoko. What's yours? Kiryu. Nice to meet you, Kiryu's son. I'll be waiting for you in the front of the club. Uh. Don't be late. Yeah, thanks. Looks like I'm in. Yeah, man, that was easy. Guess I'm off to double up. Thank God for this beautiful brow of mine. No lady can possibly resist. Oh! Boss is- I know, you told me that already! Why? Didn't I- Didn't he already send me a that same message? He did! Why'd you- Why'd you send me a second one? Silly knucklehead? Okay. To Debola! Get out of my way, lady! Hey, baby cakes. You ready to do this? Sorry to keep you waiting. You should be sorry. I thought you weren't going to come. God, it only took me like 30 seconds to get here. Um, my apologies. It's fine. Well then, let's head inside, shall we? Sure. Oh man, it's gonna get kinky, guys. <laughs> you put your left foot in, take your left foot out, put your left foot in, and you shake it all over. Wow! God, this party is bumping! This shit is getting crazy. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Calm down, kitty, you suck! Oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> Seriously, I was like. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Everyone just dancing around. Well, I got in. This place is pretty packed. Okay, I'm off to enjoy the party. 
Hope you meet someone special, Kiryu san. Uh, uh, thanks. So I'll see what I can learn. Yeah! Dude, what's up, man? You wanna fucking get laid? Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, I'm an elated party goer. Maybe I can help help you with friend? You're in a pretty good mood. Did you already find a partner? <laughs> sure did! She's way out of my league, but now I've got a hot girlfriend! The introduction fee was worth every yen! So it's true you can meet, gr meet great people here after all. I've never had a girlfriend in my life! <laughs> But the guru here literally gave me my dream girl. He's incredible. He's a fucking god of this world. Guru. Ooh. Starts out like that cult from last game. Host this party. I owe him everything. So rumors that you'll find a partner here are true. There's a hefty price tag on it. Mm. What about you? Hey, such a brawny, oh. beautiful man. Hey, might have asked you a question. <laughs> Ooh, what a handsome man. But I'm sorry. I'm already taken. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. This is my first time here, and I'm, I'm kind of shy, okay? I'm a little bit introverted. And I just want to figure this out. Oh, I see. Does that mean you haven't met the guru yet? The guru? Uh, not yet. <laughs> He's an amazing man. It's like, when you're before him, you realize how insignificant your existence truly is. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to walk over there and it's just Majima on a, on a wig again? <laughs> hey, Kiryu, damn it! Yeah, I learned something from that call the last game. I learned people are suckers! <laughs> He sounds, uh, great. You see, when you meet him, he'll change your whole outlook on life. <sighs> We're both claiming for a place claiming to connect people. Is it the eHarmony guy? Are you looking for a genuine connection? Well, let this creepy white old guy help you out. <laughs> uh, is anyone else slightly creeped out by the eHarmony guy? Or is that just me? Hey, want to dance with me, lady? <laughs> Uh, woo! Woo! Oh my god, I just took a whole bunch of PCP and I'm fucking crazy! I'm lit! You say I say yes and a heartbeat to a guy like you, but I already met my dream boat for a man, sorry. Huh, I'll excuse myself. So who's a lucky guy? What, are you blind? He's right here! Uh. Mm -hmm. uh oh my god, what? This dim bulb is our dream boat? Oh, uh, I was like, uh, are we like a matching people over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All I do is take the guru advice now, man of my dreams. I even bother his host, host clubs. Where's he even looking right now? He's just like, <laughs> I'm cheering at the ceiling. I don't want to judge your taste, but I can't say this guy's any better looking than the Stardust host. What's going on? They have like some hallucinogen. So the rumors that you can find love in the party seem true enough. Something's off. Who's this guru ever since we were raving about? <laughs> What? Really? Finally going to introduce me to a handsome, sturdy man? Mm -hmm. Huh? Is that Tomoko? Eh. Quite so. The guru never lies. But this small matter of your ta- uh, I mean, introductory fee. If true happiness is for sale, price is no object. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Recommend amount was 200,000 yen, right? <laughs> Glory be. That's the spirit, sister Tomoko. Oh my god, it is like it, isn't it? I'm actually wondering if it may end up be that same dude again. So I think we might have called him the guru as well. With such an offering, our guru will be pleased you to commune your opportunity to achieve eternal bliss. Please oh. follow me. Okay. Winning a fee isn't so different from paying for hosts. I'm their heart to heart connection. If I follow them, I can catch a glimpse of this guru. <laughs> mm. So sneaky! Now, before you can see the guru, please leave your introductory fee out here on the table. Here you go! 200,000 yen! That would be two Rincho. I mean, 200,000 yen. Oh, Nas. Oh. oh my god! It totally is! Oh, Nas oh, nice very much. Now let me get the guru. I think they said that shit in the last mm. game. This guru must be something else. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I knew it! Yes! So you are new f friends, Sister Tomoko. My disciple has to filled me in on the details of your arrival. I don't know if it's exactly the same guy. That, well, that guy had long hair. I, I suppose it could be him. But I mean, he's doing the same mannerisms as the other one. Young sister, you stand before the host of this party and our special advisor, Guru Munan Yazawa. Munan. That's right, Munan. Uh. 
What was the fucking long thing you would say? Moonan, he has oh, oh nest so uh something. Hello, it's an art to meet you. It's an awfully long time for a creepy old dude. <laughs> he probably is supposed to be the same guy. Ha ha Moon and Yeah, Moon and Yeah, Moon and <laughs> Oh my god, quick, carry you, do the hustle! No need to be nervous. We are all friends in the same light. In fact, we should toast to celebrate the threads of faith that have led to this meeting. Uh -huh. Um, aren't you going to introduce me to someone handsome? I'm right here, baby. There could be no rush to a spiritual connection, child. We shall make introductions as soon as we share this drink. Come now, cheers. Show it, peepee! Show it, peepee! Oh my god, it is a continuation, I knew it! This has got to be a side quest that wasn't in the uh, original game. Huh? I'm kidding! So hot! Oh, oh my god, is there like some aphrodisiac in there? How do you feel, Sister Tomoko? <laughs> Um, oh, I feel so good. The heck? I've only had one dr the one drink. She's hard to get it, getting getting really loopy. She a light waiter. <laughs> Glory be, yeah, you have a fine disposition for this. Now allow me to introduce you to a suitable friend. Oh, oh my God, it's the guy who wanted me to go find those 2,000 yen bills. It, this, this friend that Guru introduced me to. Oh, he's such a lovely, handsome man. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, smoke's already What? No way that guy's on the same level as a host of Stardust. What'd he do to Tomoko? Guru, are you certain this beautiful woman will have eyes only for me? <laughs> of course. The seeds of your numerous contributions have finally blossomed in this beautiful fruit, brother. <laughs> if that much got me a girl like this, my checkmark is open and so is my fly! You are the path to true connection, Guru! <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Why not toast with me to bro a prosperous future then? Yes, my master, yes! Pretty sure that guy's been caught. Two more faithful disciples joining our <laughs> order is tossed to celebrate. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Once our order had many disciples, but then the battle of Gor- Yes! <laughs> <laughs> but then the battle of Goroma Jima extinguished our guiding light. And my master, the previous guru, was captured in a tent. No, okay, that guy. That guy went to fucking jail. He's dead. This is disciple. Munan Yazawa. But I, his purest disciple, never lost my faith. Thus, I am reviving the order in the ripe land of the east. All to welcome back my master, Guru Munan, Munan Suzuki. Yeah. Now he's drunk and spewing nonsense. It's pretty clear this isn't just some expensive mixer party. Ah, uh, the effect this holy elixir bewitches the senses. She's lost the illusion that a toad could seem a prince. If we could continue to create faithful couples and doctorate their children to breed a new generation of friends, our order could develop into something even greater than before. I mean, wouldn't they like snap out of it at once the high wore off? I knew that drink was more sister than alcohol. I don't do something now, Tomoko Commandator. Oh. Not on daddy's watch. Hey, Tomoko, snap out of it! Smack the uh. shit out of her. Uh, who are you? I am Majma 2. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm in Kiryu. Huh, Kiryu? Hey, who the hell are you? Why are you so close to me? <laughs> Ugly man. <laughs> what? Well, uh, we were brought together by the Guru. You wanted to do things with me, I know. We're friends with Benedictions. <laughs> with Benedictions. Uh, you? Sorry, but you let yourself go a long time ago. I'd rather date a pork chop. <laughs> I can make that work. Huh, so you've come to your senses. You're hallucinating. Guru, where's the meaning of this? Who is this extremely square looking man? Damn you. How do you interfere with the Shurei PP? Oh my god, the fact that I played the last game and got to actually see that side quest myself has made this so much better. I just realized the screen is a little dark, isn't it? I have no clue what you're writing about, but this isn't the right way for men and women to meet. It's a damn cult. Help me cure you, son. Good. How dare you? He says now, fruitcake. You sent all these people home, or you can deal with me. Take your pick, you phony. Silence! Time to die, kill you. God, what is that with these guys and their ridiculous stance? Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. No, don't think so. Ah, that's a no-no. Come on, get your ass up. I ain't done beating on you. Yeah. Oh, there's that new move I learned. The double finisher. Ha! Ah! No, my... God, no. I was so close to reviving the order. I can't let the dream slip through my fingers now. Not again. 
You can throw a big, as big a party as you want, but if you got to be able to come through deception, it's worthless. You saw them. Even the connection was built on a lie. Those youngsters were just happy to find someone. Uh, they were all high as shit, you loopy asshole. Sure, I bet some of them are even probably even grateful for it. But happiness can't be sold or bought or drugged. If someone's got a price on it, then it's not your happiness at all. That has to be earned on your own. You're wrong. The base fools must ch be chastened by the order's guiding light. It's such such is my sacred duty. For a guy with so much charisma, how are you so fucking stupid? Don't you realize how a gift like that could be used to help society? So bring it down with this crap. Uh, no. So this funny part is over. Time to head back to Stardust and tell Kazuki what just went down. Enough for a curse down the sky. Hey, bro. Oh, oh, Kiryu, what'd you find out? Not much. I don't know everything, but it was party hosted by some wacko cult. A place to meet new people my ass. A cult? Uh. Yeah, they were giving partners to anyone who donated money. Damn, so that's why our customers haven't been returning. But I had some strong words for their so-called guru. We've been pulling stunts like that for a while. And the woman he can't be back to business as usual <laughs> soon. So that's how it went down. Forgive me, Kiryu-san. You've really put yourself through the ringer for us. Please accept our thanks. And this. Got tourmaline bracelet. Woo! Was the party any fun at least? Uh huh? Nah, I was full of kids. Not my scene. <laughs> like I'm gonna buy that. I'm sure you found a cutie or two. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 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 oh! Oh my God! Ah, <laughs> uh, carry you, son. I found a great guy. I'm gonna fuck that man over there. It's all thanks to my dedicated Shory PP. Oh my god, no! And Kiryu-san got a stalker that day. Ah, oh, what have I done? Well, at least I got 50,000 experience points. She believes she can be enough for me to upgrade something. Okay, it's powerful spinning blow unleashed from resist guard. He's in deep mode. Beast style. Boom. Okay, we got another one right down the road here. Oh, is this guy trying to get a Money or something? Something wrong. Keep trying to put this bill the vending machine, but it won't take it. Got any normal money? Oh, uh, yes, it is. It's a 2000 bill. Should I make a change? Yes. Give it to me. Uh. Yeah, sure. I think I have to drop off each bill I get to, to the guy before a new one pops up. Hey, Will, you're a damn hero. Thanks. At least, I think. Well, at least an exclamation point show up on the map, so I actually know exactly where to, where to go. No. Hey, you there. Can you do me a favor? Under suspicion. Oh god, I feel another scam coming on. Huh? Why should I do you any favors, suspicious man? Ah, uh, come on. I'll pay you enough to make it worth your while. How about it? I know you need the money. Actually, I really don't. <laughs> I'm not in need of money. What do you want me to do? Well, I guess I could always use more money. Sure, why not? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> don't worry, it's real simple. I'm going to receive something from a woman, and then bring it back here to me. Okay. Listen closely. There's a woman near the pachinko parlor at the theater square. I want you to tell her you're very sexy. Then she'll try to give you something. Give her a hundred thousand in exchange, then bring it on back here. That's it. Easy peasy, right? Oh god, I thought I'm gonna get slapped. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Explain it again. Uh. Yeah, sounds easy enough. Okay, here's the cash. Give it to her. Oh, by the way, don't look inside what she gives you. If you do look, I'm not going to pay you a single yet. Yeah, sure. Got it. Guys, there's a deal. I'll be waiting. I don't even know how much I'm getting, honestly. Okay, there's another one over here. This is... Hmm? Uh, huh? Yeah, how many times has it been? Man keeps mumbling about his sign. Oh, well. Oh, my God, there's a car right outside the bowling alley. Guess the last one's wrong. More graffiti again! What should I do? Keep mumbling your sign. Something the matter? Well, I'm at a loss here. The owner of this cafe, but... Someone keeps spraying graffiti over my sign! The heart of vandalism! No matter how many times I clean it up, I wish I could do something! This town's a lot of hoodlums. They enjoy watching you spend a lot of time cleaning up a, your Whoa. sign? I know! Would you keep watch? You look like you're good at fighting. Hey. <laughs> Nani? What? Stand here forever? I think you'd be able to catch whoever's doing this. 
I'll compensate you, of course. How about it? Fine, I'll do it. I guess so, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I asked. I really didn't think you'd say yes. By the way, my name's Agawa. My name's Kiryu. Okay, Kiryu-san, you keep watch here. I have, to keep, I have to run to the cafe. Uh, sure. Thank you very much, Kiryu-san. You're gonna clean off your sign first? Why would they come back and re-spray it when it's already sprayed? If I stay out in the open, the culprit won't show up. I should leave for a bit and come back. Oh, okay. In the meantime, I see you. Oh, Romero special. Okay, and we got something on here. I'm going to be waiting somewhere around here. So say the right words and give her the money. Oh, God. Oh, no. You didn't give me a description, so I have no idea. Oh, God, all these women are going to smack. Why, do I, why does that have to be you are very sexy? What do you want? You're very pretty. <laughs> You're very ugly. You're very sexy, baby. You're very sexy. Mm -hmm. Where's my money? <gasps> oh, good guess! Oh, right. I have to give her a thousand yen. There you go. Where's my money, bitch? Uh, here you go. <laughs> okay, thank you. Then here you go. So you just suspicious paper bag. So whoever's in this bag is what the guy wanted. I'd imagine a guy could get any girl he wanted buying this, though. So. What a world we live in. Mm -hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, don't play dumb. It's fine, really. After all, sick perverts like you are giving me enough money to get get by. Nanny. Sick perverts? I mean nothing by it. You're living honestly with your desires at least. You know, if you need more, I'll be around. It's a good deal for both of us. Oh god, what are we doing? We're doing the the, the high school is giving away their undergarments again. Now it's older much more mature women undergarments. What's that about? I'm not a pervert. There's something strange in this bag. I gotta look. Be dangerous. I have to look for my own safety. Just in case. See if I don't get the money. Let's see. These are women's panties! So that's what she he, she meant by sick pervert. That was too embarrassed to buy this himself, so he sent me instead. Damn it! I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. Before I do that, looks like somebody came by that sign. Well, what the? Oh, uh, yep. Ha, ah, dude! I'm respraying my already sprayed area! I'm such a stupid idiot! Hey! Whoa! W what do you want? Did you tag, tag this sign? No, uh, some other guy with orange spray paint did. Nope, was me! Hey! Wait! Come back here! Damn, he ran off towards Ty Boulevard West! I've gotta stop him! He's over there. But first, let's drop the panties off. Hey, how are you asked for from the woman? Oh, uh, thanks. Give it to me. There you go. Gave suspicious paper bag. Aww. Hey, wait a minute. Your bag's been opened already. You picked it what was inside, didn't you? <laughs> how would you possibly tell? It wasn't like it was folded shut. Yeah. Oh, I, uh. You know, then, in that case, I have no choice. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Feel free. What, you want to attack me? I'll give you 50,000 yen. Please don't tell anyone about it. Oh, he's going to give me more money. Nani? Nani? Here, just take it, please. Oh, fuck yeah. I can't see you. Please don't tell anyone about this. I don't even know you, dude. Who would I tell? I wouldn't tell anyone I bought used panties either. Ah, oh, gross. I feel dirty now. Well, at least I got 10,000 experience points for it. All right, time to catch this guy. It was stopped for some reason, I guess. Oh wait, it's out by that pole. That's... I was tagging the, the cafe sign. There you are. Why does he stand by these two guys? Huh? Who the hell are you? Got no business with you. And he talks to the kids hiding behind huh? you. Well, well. So you screw you think you screw with the ox, eh? You don't know who you're messing with. But don't worry, you'll learn soon enough. What the hell? Why? Why is there so volatile? I don't understand. I didn't do anything. Oh, oh, he's also Yakuza because he's fighting alongside him, I guess. Okay, sure. Fine. I don't want to die that badly. Ugh. I'll give you your wish. Blind. Blind kick. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I love that. Ah. 
<laughs> Cartwheel! Eh, I have been slain. Huh? Are you rest in the cafe, huh? Did you put that kid up to all this? Yeah, no. It's not actually. Stop stalling and answer me! I was just teaching them a lesson because they wouldn't pay us protection money. Strictly business. You know what it is. Besides, the kid is his son's owner's son. Nanny? Uh, Nanny? Huh? Hey, shut up! So what if I am? Fuck my old man. Usually a kid doesn't tag a cafe run by their own father. So you must have a reason, right? N no, I don't. <sighs> you better have a reason. Uh, fine, I get it. I realize the error of my ways. I want to be a graphic designer, but my old kid man keeps bugging me about taking over the family business instead. So I want to teach him a lesson. You decided to do that by hanging out with Yakuza who wanted to harass the cafe for protection money. Yeah. <sighs> you have all this time to waste on petty vandalism, why not spend it on a heart to heart with your father? Yeah, right. Pop suddenly has the cafe on his mind. That's why I'm trying to make a statement that will get through to him. If you can take the initiative to do that. I think you have what it takes to let him know how serious you are. Ugh, no way. I'm sure your father isn't asking you to take over the family business lightly. You can trust me, alright? I am the ultimate daddy. So if you tell him how serious you are about graphic design, your father will understand. What do you think? Ugh. It's up to you, kid. You're right. I'll let Pops know how I really feel, and how serious I am. Good. Stop being a little douche. Now I'm gonna slowly walk off. Should go see how this ends. <laughs> but let me pause here for a second. Seriously, where's the X button? There we go. <laughs> that took a while. Yeah. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna kill these guys. <laughs> Fuck you, son. Ah, Kiri, son. My boy came clean by the graffiti. Now would have guessed it was my only son. <laughs> I'm sure he had his reasons, though. <laughs> ah, yes, he told me that too. Perhaps it wasn't good. That was so stubborn. Well, the vandalism is wrong, but I have to admit, he's got a good sense of design <laughs> and a knack for painting. Ah, look at that beautiful squiggly he drew on my sign. Glad well, your father recognized your passion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a token of my appreciation. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Got 50,000 yen, yeah. Gonna talk my son uh, more often. Yeah, let's see we have a heart to heart sometimes. So you'll never get through to each other. Hey. You're right. Oh my god, Kiryu-san taught me so many things. I'll try th seeing things eye to eye with Pops. Communication is key. If they figure that out from this incident. That's a huge step. Good luck with your dream. <laughs> oh my god. I learned so many things from these fucking Yakuza games, guys. Ah, it's fucking gorgeous. I love it. If you don't learn valuable life lessons from these games, then your, your heart is as cold as stone. Okay, what do I want to get next? Uh, a debilitating strike released from Resist Guard. Triangle when attacked. Ah, coming in for the crushing hammer. What? Oh, <laughs> hey, Gano. Pass. What are you doing here? What happened to that woman? Hello. Actually, exactly why I need your help, boss. What, what, what is it this time? What did you do, Kano? I, uh, need to ask you a favor. Uh, please, sir, can you come with me? No questions asked. Fine. <laughs> nope. <laughs> It's not it, but what happened? Hey, big time boss. Let's talk somewhere else. You're gonna try to chip me now, are you? So what is it? Why do we have to come all the way here? Well, it's about that woman I picked up earlier. Yeah? Actually, she was... She was the mistress of some Yakuza! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so you fell for the oldest truck in the book, you stupid asshole. This one's called a badger game, and I told you to be careful of it. Okay, but we're past that. What can I do about it now? Yaksa called me and said I have to wait here for him. If I have to face him alone, he's gonna fill my shoes with concrete and send me to sink into the, the bay. You're on your own. I'll bail you out this time. You gotta learn, all right? You gotta keep it in your pants, bro. You just have no choice. I'll help him. So where's this Yaksa? He's already here. What? Hey, Kano, didn't I tell you to come alone? How dare you try to sleep with my woman? Why don't you try and show some dignity in life, eh? Yeah, right. That was your plan from the star, wasn't it? What the hell? Listen, I was willing to come and discuss this. 
so we can resolve things like adults. Uh -huh. But if you don't want to come to the table, that's fine by me. <laughs> yeah. So, Kano-san, you gotta pay for damages here. Fortunately, it's only going to cost you four mil to settle this. There's no way I could pay four mil. There's so much money. Boss, please do uh -huh. something. Boss, who are you? Patriarch of the dumbass family. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, I'm patriarch of the daddy family. Listen, this stupid kid is new in town. He's young and foolish. We just drop this and call it life lesson. You gotta be kidding, fella. Dumbass man babies like him are fresh me walking right into the lion's den. <laughs> Heh. But it's fine. After I beat you clowns bloody, I'll be begging to pay the damages from your hospital bed. <laughs> it's just you two work. It's two of you. I still up to eight mil. Tch. Fine, I'll just have to kill you guys. Just don't say any more on you. <laughs> One guy behind him is like, did a practice kick. Oh, look at my moves! You guys are nothing! One of these idiots gotta fucking learn. Oh, Saber! Oh, watch this, guys. Oh, just stab the fuck out of him for no reason. Ah, bisect him! Taste the power of my Aladdin sword. Ah, yeah, now I remember who you are. With the dragon of Dojima. Say, why don't we just let this one go, eh? I'll even throw some free info if you don't hold it against me. And that is... Uh. See, there's a ramen shop called Kyushi Number One Star. Try ordering ramen with extra soup and a half side of rice for the manager there. I already got this, you asshole! Is it like there are, like, multiple people that give you this info? Who give you access to a secrecy that only allows regulars? Piece of the code, you're good to go. I think that's some great intel. W well, I'll be leaving now. No, it's actually shit! Oh my god, the one guy just phased out of existence. You saved my life, sir. Right. Why don't you get me involved in this nonsense? I'm really sorry, sir. This is thank you for the trouble. I got this money to pay that Yakuza. Oh, corner mm. maximum! I guess money is tricky when it comes to women. I think I'll spare the fair sex from a masculine charge for a while. You need to start using your head, dumbass. Nobody survives as long in this town falling for every scheme it throws at you. Just look at me, all right? I've got through like 20 already in this one game alone. Yes, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks to me, got info on a secret casino. I already knew that, though. So everything try to find the end, right? Must find more lucrative adventures. See ya, boss. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this isn't over yet. He hasn't learned a goddamn thing! I'm gonna find his dead, lifeless body somewhere at one point. Alright, let's go drop off the 2,000 yen bills right over here. Oh. Hey. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Kiryu chan. Can I see that 2,000 yen bill? Uh. Yeah, I've got one for you. <laughs> How'd you know I had it? Uh, can I have it? What should I do? Why would I hold on to it? Seriously. Uh. Here you go. Uh, thank you. Here's a little token of my appreciation, as I promised. <laughs> Only three more to go. Thank you very much. Okay, give me a clue Ooh. about where the next one is. 2000 yen bill doesn't work in bill exchangers. Maybe you can look for someone that might want to... Oh. Oh, okay. That must have been... That was a different one. Okay, I, I guess I can get them all at the same time then. Because that was what he told me last time I talked to him. The other guy was staying in front of a vetting machine, though. It was actually marked on the map, though. So maybe... Are they all going to be marked on the map? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit's going down over here. That's main story stuff, though. <laughs> hey! Bobby, hey, what's happening over there? Ah, the state of the smell. <laughs> I like everyone surrounding this one area. No no one's gonna get any closer. But Matra's over there just chilling the fuck out anyway. Don't give a shit! Decided I can kiss my ass! Hey! Gammon! Wait! Don't be an itch, bitch woman! In pursuit of pleasure. I lost everything out of that Machenko! And I got some cash on you, right? How did I. Nothing. Anything I'm going to give you! Fine. Then how about you and me head to a hotel? Kill me, forget all my woes. <laughs> all right, be an ass and leave again. Better step in before it gets worse. Stop it! She's not interested. Uh huh? Huh? What the hell's your problem? God, why do these guys? Everyone just jumps into immediately fighting. Seriously, look at me. Why aren't you afraid of me, stupid? Ugh. Ah! God, that fucking kick is strong as shit. Uh, oh, another voice acted one. What? 
知らないわよこんな人この野郎俺が知らないうちに男。What the fuck? やがったな。ち違うんだって。ジュンちゃん。ジュンちゃん。あ、すまん。余計なことしちまったか。俺はてっきり。この女性と俺は何も。What the fuck? 覚悟はできてるか。What do you expect that butter knife to do to me? よせ、落ち着け。やめてー。ね<笑>。Oh my god。Everything's happening in slow motion。Oh。What the what? Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, it's Tom Cruise, guys. Are they filming a movie or something? ちょっとお前。さあ、今のうちに逃げて。そうじゃねえっていうか<笑>やめろああ俺でよいでよ What the fuck is going on? Man with the big head 女性を連れて逃げなさい私なら大丈夫こういうやからはきっちりとお正気しないと Dude, I was handling it just fine, okay? 違うんだ人の話を聞け<笑> What the fuck is happening? <笑>ほら何やってるんだ Oh my god, that place is here! あ、お前らさん Oh my god, guys, enormous! 実はチンピラがカップルを脅しておりまして Actually, this guy really does have a big head, doesn't he? Look at it! Oh my god, there's a new one reached over there! ほう He's got big cheekbones too. Taijobu? Ne, Taijobu na no? Do, do you kodo? Ma, couple no. I have no idea, honestly. Ah, ano futori no couple. Te koto wa, odoshite ta chimpiro te no wa omae ka? No. Ha? Ha? Here, kan chigai da. 俺もしょっぱなに勘違いしたが。署まで同行してもらうぞ。違うんだ。No! 一緒に警察に行きましょう。は<笑>あ<笑>私も勘違いをした。そして、あなたも勘違いをした。ここは男らしく言い訳せず、お縄につくということで。No, shut up, man with big head! お互い正当防衛だ。さっさと逃げねえと面倒になるぞ。逃げるスポーツマンは決して逃げたりしない。何何 ?Who's this guy supposed to be? どういうことなんだ<笑> ?Okay, so just tell me what's going on. 女性から金をせびろうとして女性は嫌がっていた。血は原価とは知らなかった。止めに入ったら男が俺に喧嘩を吹っかけてきたんだ。そうなのかはい。すみません。So she told you, thank you for not lying. Kono kao no degai. The guy with the big head. Chimpiro yatsketchimata. Had him a sleeper hold. Naruhodo. Pulls arm right out of a socket. Sumimasen desa. Yeah, mo. Edis. Yeah. I like how everybody immediately reforms the, their ways. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I'm sorry, big head. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, big head. I'm sorry, big head. I'm sorry, big head. I'm sorry, ジュードをやってたのか。では篠原さん、最近は物騒ですから、お気をつけて。篠原さん、篠原、なんで名前を？あんた有名なのか？現役はもう引退してまして、それでまあちょっとした観光に、でもこういう場所を歩くのは慣
さっきの現場に出くわしまして本当にご迷惑をおかけしまして申し訳ありませんそうだったのか迷惑かけたついでだ俺でよければ案内するぜ本当ですかよろしくお願いします I'm not sure it's like, is this supposed to be referencing either a real, like, life person, or is this like a. someone that will become important in later games or, or something? Let's see, you have anywhere specific you want to go? I、uh, kind of came back to town recently, so I'm probably not the perfect tour guide. I guess. I'm gonna give him Gato voice. Come on, Gato voice would be appropriate. I guess all that exercise work up an appetite, so why don't we grab something to eat? Looking for good food here. Barbecue is the way to go. I know a place. Come, follow Kiryu. Hey! <laughs> okay! Oh,、well, where'd he go? Wow, that was a weird start to a quest, wasn't it? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Get out of my way! Here, I'm gonna make you feel better. I'm helping! Does that story even start yet? We are. It's the place for meeting Kamurocho. Wow, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay go picking up the tab here? Wait, what? <laughs> ha, ha, just kidding. I've got money, so you just enjoy yourself. Uh, sure. Well, let's do this. Dude, I've eaten here like eight million times. I want your finest tongue. Welcome. Can I take、Hi. your order? Yes. Gonjo, take everything on menu. <laughs> for that is the true path to becoming true gentleman. I'll take everything! You mean. You mean you like one of every item on the mata, menu? Mata.、Huh? Of course not! I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full grow cow! What, what the、eh? fuck? <laughs> Why? I, I mean, of course, sir.、Um, would you like it with sauce, or salt, and pepper? That's good! <laughs> Both! Everything! Everything! Both? Wait, you mean you want two cows? <laughs> yes! Give me that! Right away then, sir! He's gonna bring a little, literal cow in there. <laughs> okay, me eat you now. <laughs> wow, that was really delicious. What a great choice. You certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there could eat two whole cows of meat. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to do next? <laughs> I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Drinks? Okay. I know a good partner here. Take you there if you want. What the hell? This is like Kiryu and Gontas night out. Aw,、oh, come on, a bar? You should know better than that, Kiryu san. Huh? If we're going to drink in Kamurocho, it's gotta be at a cabaret club.、Uh. Oh, right. I understand now. I always wanted to go to a cabaret club. This is my golden opportunity. Please take me there. Well, you certainly have no shame. So let's go to one bejewel. So we'll give that a shot. Let's go. Hey! <laughs> okay! <laughs> This guy's a crazy look on his face. Yes! Yeah, good idea, Kiryu san! <laughs> Let's keep going. I just realized the L on Jewel is capitalized for some dumb reason. Why would they do that? How dare they? Well, we're here. <laughs> Let's have a good fight! Uh, what? Good. Uh, whoa. Why are you yelling? Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I used to always yell that when I entered a room. <laughs> what? What? Well, you're gonna have to relax. I don't want you getting drunk and judo throwing anyone. I feel like we're like referencing something that I just don't know what it is. Why are you so well built? Do you play sports? Look at that chin. Well, sort of. Me live out in wilderness. A long time ago I did. <laughs> oh, I love a man with muscle tone. <laughs> well, I drink to that. Shall we have champagne? <laughs> Ooh, what a dynamic man! One goal for this fine piece of man meat! Oh, wait! Hold that order! Uh, uh, oh, you didn't want the gold? No, that's not it at all! But just one bottle? Let's not be stingy、uh -huh. here. Let's see. I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each, so I think we need four <laughs> golds! Wow! <laughs> for some reason, I said filthy cabaret girl. I was like, dirty little cabaret! <laughs> Flirty cabaret girl. Wow, you know how to party, s h e a r s o n Wow, yeah, God. Here, the man, four bottles of gold! <laughs> Just like pouring it on ourselves. My God, what is this, the bubble, again? bubble era again? We're going back in the 80s, guys. I am so fucked. 
I think you were the type to order four bottles of champagne. Should not li liven up a cabaret. <laughs> no, that was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I gotta do it. I rich as dicks, bro. You're like me from the last game. I see. I guess you're just all an all-around party animal. So what do you wanna do next? Let's go to trampoline park. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? Didn't like the club? Yeah. No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but I haven't found anything that's really excited okay. me yet. <laughs> Let's go searching for bugs! You're looking for hey. excitement? Well, there's no point coming all the way to Kamurocho to have the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind experience. I see. So the normal tourist attractions will cut hey. it. Right. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be ungracious when you've gone so far out of your way to show me around. We'll fight to the death then! My old job, my old life, judo is all I've known. I'm sure you can see why I'm to totally lost in a nightlife town. I still want to find something more geared towards my interests. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I might have an idea. Nani? Really? Uh. Yeah, I think I know a place that'll be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you, the Coliseum. You really think so? Please, take me there! The only one place I, think I know Kamurocho could sit a satisfied judo master like Shinohara. That's where I'll take him. Which I believe is also where the main story goes. Whatever, let's just go, let's go do it. Alright, I want to see where this is. <laughs> Seriously, this is such a bizarre one, but I, I want to see where it takes me. What's happening here? Why is everyone watching Majima smoke? Oh, holy shit! That's not good. Nanda. Huh? Nani? Oi, Hanta! Haraka! Look, I was about to run to a wall there. I'm gonna plow through this. Brr! That is not good. Haruka! Kiryu. That's a. Haruka. Smile. Oh, shit. I told you how to fuck up again, Dante! Ew! <laughs> Aw. Haruka. What are私私やっぱりここにいちゃいけない気がする。え私綺麗なおじさんのこと好きだけど私がここにいるとおじさんに迷惑がかかっちゃう。何度も危ない目に遭っちゃう。はるか。だから私はいなくなった方がいいの。お母さんももういないし。本当はもっとおじさんたちと一緒にいたかったけど。Holy fucking shit. Jesus, what did they do? Shoot a bazooka into that thing? Oh god. Ow. Smane Kiryu. Yatsura gang no rinchu da. Haruka o saratte igiyagatta. Gang. Kono machi no grendai da. Yakuza no yabai shimoto nanka o hiki ugeteru. Aka, shiro, ao no mitsu ni wakareteru nda ga. Colors. Mete o sotte igiyagatta. Haruka saratte no wa nani iro nanda? ならシラミつぶしにするしかねえな。ならシラミつぶしにするしかねえな。I'll Okay, but first, I must go meet my friend at the Coliseum. Oh wait, there's another, there's another quest by the fountain too. Uh, oh, excuse me.
Excuse me, sir. Huh? Oh, wow. Look at you. Definitely gonna get some bad boy vibes out of Nani. you. Nani, bad boy. Dressed like a man with a real presence. The nonchalant demeanor, Scout says, don't ask me about my dark past. <laughs> Badass dance! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing, I already tell! Yes, amazing! You're the very edition of Bad Boy! <laughs> hey, hold on a second. What exactly are you talking about? Huh? Well, I just think you look like a cool old guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm asking, what the heck is this Bad Boy old guy stuff you keep saying? Huh? You're a poster boy of a badass dad! You don't know what they are? Bad boys are so in right now! No, I've heard- I've never- I've never heard of them. Mm, I see. Must be the kind of man who becomes a- a dilf without- <laughs> Oh my god, a dilf! Yes! Oh my god, Kiri is the biggest dilf of all! Oh yeah, boy! Uh, ah. You just- you just rock the look naturally without- without even trying! See, the bad and bad boys sure for badass dad! Middle-aged man who's dangerous, you dandy, rugged, but respectable. Nurturing, but also imposing! <laughs> Simply put, a cool old guy with a bit of a bad boy streak. I see. They appeared on TV shows, magazines, even in movies. Old men who kick ass have gotten really popular recently. Oh my god. <laughs> you could be the next Liam Neeson. Oh my god, no way! Wait, hold on, this is the early 2000s. We shouldn't know anything about that yet. <laughs> Never would have thought. <laughs> Me, a badass dad. <laughs> How many years did I age in prison? <laughs> That's right, none at all. <laughs> I'm conducting interviews for a magazine, an article to seek out and determine who are the bad boys of Camarocho. Wait, there's an actual criteria for that? <laughs> yes, I'm interviewing the highest deals I can find. Then I, <laughs> oh my god. Then it's on whether they're truly bad boy material. Some men are just trying to ride the bad boy gravy train because it's trendy now. They're not the real deal. I don't really get it, but it sounds really stupid. <laughs> I would definitely like to interview you. Nice. Interested? Me? It's time as a ton of bad boys running around the streets. I stop them. Seriously, I get beat it. I get attacked by them on a regular basis. Well, a lot of the men on these streets are bad boys. They're just bad people. <laughs> it's too dangerous to talk to most of them. So I wanted, wandered into this park thingy thinking I'd be safer. And was hoping I'd find some fatherly types here. Uh, you came into West Park thinking it'd be safe? <laughs> you see all the dirty, smelly hobos here with, with syringes and knives? Well, if I don't do something, the story I've been working on for months will fall through. So please, help me out. Besides, if you try to be a true bad boy, you'll get a special prize. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Really? It's gonna take up a good chunk of your time. Is that okay? <laughs> really? Okay. That's fine. All right, I'm, I'm committed now. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. Well, for stars, can you tell me your name uh, and age? Sure. Cosmic Kiryu, 37 years old. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Pushing 40, huh? Perfect. Yes. Oh, my ovaries are ready. Well, Kiryu-san, can you tell me what your priorities are in life as a badass mm. dad? My priorities? Uh, how are other guys answering? Mm. Let's see. The man I interviewed earlier said he was at... He makes sure to wear sunglasses at all time. times, whether it's midday or midnight. Huh? Sunglasses at midnight? She sounds like an idiot. <laughs> That's not true. Some people say that sunglasses are the number one must-have accessory for bad boys. Huh. Still don't understand exactly what a bad boy is. Well, whatever. What's my number one priority these days? My clothes. Madamasan! <laughs> Madamasan! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tempted to say that! <laughs> Nothing really. Uh. Oh, that's so good. But that can't be the right answer. If I'd say beforehand, I would have totally do that. I feel like it's got to be like my clothes, right? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's so good though. Madamasan. Nani? Yeah, he's right. It's on my ass all the time. Let's see. If I had a big song, I'd say my clothes. See, what part of your clothes are you particular about? Because I don't wear T-shirts. I like to dress. I like dress shirts. The kind you can button up. But I always bum button the shirt down to my chest. My bare, bare, burly chest. Don't like it when a shirt feels tight around my throat. That's why I don't wear neckties either. I see, I see. You're showing a lot of chest even today. Ooh, yeah. Bad boys always show off the chest. <laughs> Say with your chest. <laughs> Seems to skip the base of being a cool old guy, cute mm -hmm. son. Y you think? Mm. 
Yes! That answer was definitely badass damn material. So Grandpa with the shirt buttoned up to the top is most, most uncool. I mean, makes sense to the workplace, mm. but... Yeah. That reminds me of my stint as a businessman. <laughs> I got some flack out of my clothes. Well, I showed him. <laughs> Eat that. Eat shit in a shaky. Okay, uh, next question. Uh, sure. Okay, then. you, son. My next question is... Well, howdy, folks. Hold on there. I got... Hold on here a dang old minute. Dandy homeless man. Yes? I've been listening to you kids talking about bad boys and whatnot. You want a real man? No one beats the boss. Uh -huh. Oh, a bad boy boss may you say? You stay put. I'll go fetch him. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't take the wind right out of my sails. Oh, my God. It <laughs> hey, I care you. Getting your best interview day. You could have sure got a lot of free time in your hands. I'm sudden. <laughs> well, she probably begged me to do it. So, you're the bo this boss man... This Boss, the man was talking about. I'm working on a story to find the best bad boy boys of uh, Tamarucha. Oh, you don't have to explain. Or soul thing. <laughs> Even though I just said our system was down, but you know. It's alright. Huh? Ha! 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 So, miss, do you want to interview me too? May I? That woven robe, the scent of tobacco, those big flabby man tits of yours. I'm sensing an aura of badassery from, just, from you just as strong as curious. Mm. Actually, you may be even better, bad boy, than Kiryu's son. Hey! Man. What the no? <laughs> you think? <laughs> I don't really get it. Why do I feel slighted? No! Um, may I have your name? Uh, oh, you just called me the florist. The florist? Okay. Well then, I'm gonna continue my interview with the both of you, Kiryu's son and Mr. Uh. Florist. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. I'm asking both of you, do you have an interesting bad boy story you can share? Man. Not it. Uh, something like a heroic exploit. Hi. Sure, if you have something. Mr. Flores, would you care to share first? Mm, let's see. I was walking in town the other day when a young thug and a woman tried to mug me. They met in my wallet and everything. Oh my gosh! Were they targeting you for being an older uh, man? Yep. But unlucky for him. My job is eavesdropping and taking candid photos. <laughs> so I aired his dirty laundry on the spot. Then I slapped him in the face with my big man tit. Stuff like this purchase history of pornography, the identity of his favorite sex worker, the most recent sex acts he enjoyed with said worker. Some real kinky shit. And his little partner in crime got disgusted. She said, You sick bastard. I can't believe it. And they started to argue, and I went along my merry way. Man, you're pretty brutal sometimes. Ah, oh, savage as fuck. Got your fists. I got my facts. But to be fair, that girl was cheating on the thug with multiple guys. Wait! Can we back this up? Candid photos? Eavesdropping? That's your job? What exactly? <laughs> oh. Do you really want to know? Mm. Uh, no! I'm just going to pretend I never heard all that. That is to disqualify you for bad boy status. Okay, Kiryu son, what about uh, you? Hit me! Ah. Uh, <laughs> Kiryu, you can be my bad boy story. Bad boy story. Let's see. <laughs> I went I went on a rampage at a funeral. I was in the joint for ten years. I beat up punks on a daily basis. Uh I went on a rampage at a funeral. <laughs> I killed everyone. Slay them all! Probably <laughs> I'm pretty sure she'd be appalled by that. And I don't I don't know, in the joint, that's kinda badass. Beat up punks on a daily basis. I don't know, that sounds like I don't know, it just sounds like some great A level shit right there. I don't really know what it is about me. But I get dragged into fights with street punks every time I turn a corner. Oh, really? Maybe something about you could just compels young, feisty men to confront you. <laughs> Maybe. But every fight ends the same way. They're dead ass on the floor. Them on the ground begging for their lives and me taking their dumb money. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, he's actually like admitting this. Like, that's right, when I beat the shit out of them, I do. I get down and I grab all their money and run. <laughs> that's where all that money is coming from. What? Be a punks take their money? That certainly is bad. But I'm not the instigator here. I don't even ask for the money. So it's not that bad. Just a little bad, right? Yeah. And that's the right kind of bad. Hey, wait. If you're beating them up, how's that any better than my blackmailing them? <laughs> well, q son isn't exp exposing embarrassing secrets, but he is fighting back. Both forms of self-defense, though. Perhaps q sons story just sounds, sounds more heroic. Yeah, I'm not a big fat ass. It totally does. <laughs> what? 
I disagree. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just gonna move to the next question. Next question is. Oh my god, now Dante's coming here! Then. Dante, when did your head heal up? Is that Dante's son? Oh, Kiryu. In the florist. Hey, hey guys. Dante, what are you doing here? I heard you guys talking about badass daddies. Just out on a quick patrol. What are you guys up to? We're gonna view it as a bad boy old guy. Yeah? Come again? Um, are you Freddy Kiryu's son? Yeah, it's Dante's son. He's a cop. Oh, a cop! Currently interviewing men for a magazine, blah, 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 blah. Three hours later. So you're fighting badass stands of Kamurocha, eh? Yes, older men are right in right now. Tough guys with the heart of gold. The curious eye, Mr. Flores here. Everyone from Titty Boppers to Grandmothers go wild for Silver Fox on the silver screen. Well, as you mentioned, Sai was telling me just the other day, all the girls are into old guys. Sayachan? Is that your daughter? Uh, yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. Does that mean Sai is into guys like Kiryu in the florist? <laughs> yes, I think that's exactly what she was saying. Yeah, actually, your daughter was gonna fuck me earlier, and I didn't tell you that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh... Huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> she can't! I do not approve! Besides, I'm the very definition of a badass dad. You guys aren't bad at all. Uh, you're the police officer here. Do enlighten us, Dante son. Are you anything but a boy scout through and through? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a lo Ah, yes! I'm a loose cannon cop, a maverick of the police force. I always, I'm always taking heat from the chief at defying orders. On top of that, I got drunk and failed to meet up with my daughter the other day. What, Nani? Does that qualify as being a bad boy? That's the case, uh, it sounds like I'm being a ne neg negligent father to me. I forgot my friend's birthday one time. Oi. And check this out. I forgot my wife's anniversary. Uh, excuse me. Three are trying, are trying to prove how much of a bad boy you are. This had any opposite effect. <laughs> oh, our bad. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. Come on. That's not what being a badass dad is all about. Standing up your daughter, forgetting your anniversary. That's more bad guy than badass. Ha! Ah. Put that smirk off your face! You should never forget a friend's birthday either, piece of shit! Oh, sorry. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> Why am I the only one getting yelled at? Oh hey, so who among us will make the best bad boy, anyway? Huh? Why do you ask? Then we need to decide who the best badass dad is. It's kind of important now. Gotta know. Sure, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. Good. Starting now, instead of just sitting around and trying to one-up each other. We battle for the title of Ultimate Bad Boy! Ultimate Dad! Oh my god, Dad, this is a battle of daddies! Nani! Excuse me, bud. You can't just change my story. Don't be so uptight! I think it makes more sense, if you ask me. It's much more interesting, don't you think? Oh, uh, you really think so? But I came in here if you met. I'd adjudicate your egos. Now about this. Continue the interview by asking each of us a question. The three of us will answer the question, and he who gives the best answer will get more badass dad cred. <laughs> oh my god! This is the best fucking shit ever! I, s I see. That sounds fair, don't you think, mm. miss? Yes, I think that's a good mm. compromise. Then it's settled! So, so really, I just have... To do what I already planned, which was to ask you some questions and get uh, some answers. Exactly. And afterwards, you can decide which of us is the most worthy of the title of Ultimate Bad Boy. Works for me! Let's get to the questions then. Okay, then I'm going to ask the one I've been keeping on the back burner for the end of my interview. What do you think is the most important thing to a bad boy? Oh. The most important thing, eh? Heh. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, you're pretty confident, huh? Please, Flores, go ahead and answer first. Is it obvious? Financial power. Financial power? You mean money? Uh, bingo. It's human nature to gain more confidence as you acquire more capital. Capital. As self-worth grows with net worth, creates an image of respectable adult male. Dandyism. Having both makes you the kind of man that girls want and boys want to be. I think I get it. Money leads to confidence. Confidence makes you dandy. 
So dadyism is not just about the clothes, it's the attitude of an older, more refined gentleman. And that dadyism is what makes a badass dad so cool, is that what uh, you're saying? Exactly. It's the most important thing to a bad boy is financial power. See, it all boils down to making bank. A man with no money usually has no confidence. Just look at the homeless in purgatory. I'm sure they're good guys, but badass dads, not one of them. More like badass hobos. <laughs> Guess that's true. Then you got me. I make tons of money underground here. Sorry guys, but I'm confident my level of raw dandyism is just too high for you to even compete. Gah. Hmm. Floris makes a pretty convincing argument. Damn it! I see! Mr. Flores, thank you for the enlightening response. Dr. Saw, would you like to answer next? Uh, sure. <laughs> huh. You know nothing, Flores of Psy. Mm -hmm. What? It's true that financial power is important to badass stats. No doubt about that. Oh my god, the music's kicking in, guys. As far as the most important thing goes. Close, but no cigar. None at all. Oh, do go on. Interesting. What are you implying, Dr. San? Most important thing to be a bad boy, that'd be devil loving family. Huh? Family? Stop this not even talking about. Listen, what a true old guy needs is the heart to love his family, and a family that loves him back. No matter how much money and confidence a man might have, it's all for nothing if there's no one to share it with. A boy can only become a real grown man when he's a partner to care for, and a, fam a family to protect. I see. So a guy without a loving family is only half a man. Compared to a real bad boy, he'd be out of his league. In that respect, I've got a wife and a daughter to protect. But how about you, Kiryu? I've got a... sort of daughter! What? Well, I... <laughs> Heh. I've got street cred. You've never been married. Without domestic experience, Junior. It's too early to call yourself a badass dad. But lots of dandy men aren't married. Uh huh? What? There are ten of bachelors out there, charming all kinds of women, and they still got some real swagger to them. So I don't think a badass dad necessarily has to be married with children. She's right! And you're talking like you're some kind of respectable family man, but till recently you weren't getting along with your wife or daughter at all. Well, <laughs> that, that was because... <laughs> Guess I'm the clear winner here. <laughs> ha! Ha! Looks like the florist has the lead, at least for now. You're up, Kiryu san Do you have a better hey. answer? Uh, sure. Most important thing for a bad boy is... Uh... Go <laughs> going to a tanning salon every day! Having less common sense than a normal man! I have no clue! <laughs> I have no one clue! Going to the tanning salon every day, yeah boy! That's the manliest thing! Okay, I... I guess it's gotta be this one, eh? This, these two just sound too ridiculous, although this one's just pretty bad too. Having less common sense than normal men. Having less common sense than normal adults. I don't follow. You mean like being more unconventional? Uh, that's right. But going overboard is no good either. It's all about maintaining a balance. Interesting. Can you explain that? Let's see. For example, it's common sense for a salary man to wear a suit to work. We all know that. But it would be weird if he came into the office wearing a Hawaiian shirt and shorts, right? No common sense. True. Just sounds like an out, out of touch old codger. Uh, yeah. But if that man wore a suit with no tie, with his shirt unbuttoned, not buttoned up all the way. Now that's a bad boy! Walking the fine line between formal and casual makes you approachable without sacrificing that fragrance of danger that draws a woman to an older guy in the first place. Ooh! Ooh, that's good shit right there, Kiri! A middle-aged burnout wearing a suit buttoned up all the way comes off as rigid. It doesn't even exist to a woman. It's just as bad as the opposite extreme. That's true. That you mention it. What a great example! What the Flores and Dante said about fi having financial power or loving family. It's pretty elitist. It's common sense invented by society. A myth of masculinity. Truth is, a carefree guy without money or family doesn't limit himself to societal standards. That's a true bad boy! Wow! That's enlightening- Ah! Oh, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> what? Well, thank you for answering, everyone. Sure. All that's left is for you to decide who among us is worthy of being the ultimate bad boy. Yes. Uh-huh. Let me make the announcement. Uh, please, God, please. I never want anything more than anything my entire life. Drum roll, please. The ultimate bad boy is... Gerson! Yes! Ha! I'm the best! Yeah! In your face, Dante! In your face, Flores! In your face! Obvious choice. 
damn it. The reason I thought Kiri Sans answer was the coolest and most impressive. Crap. That's a letdown. But it is what it is. We actually have a special prize for you, Kiri Sans. Oh, thanks. Got the Italian shoulder rag. Uh oh! Well, Kiri Sans, keep it dandy as the ultimate badass dad! Yes! Ah! Oh! Because, come on, it can only be Kiryu, right? He's the only one who could possibly be the ultimate daddy of all daddies. Cool old guy who never seems to age, huh? Yeah, I bet I can pull that off. Oh, I'm sure you do just dandy. Well, please excuse me. Yeah, see you around. Ha! Heh, <laughs> heh. Badass dads, huh? It's been so long in jail, it's easy to forget ten years have actually passed me by. Guess I'm old enough to be considered an old man now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look really disappointed they lost. Good! <laughs> Go gloat over them! <laughs> nah, I'll cover them. Hey, come on! Don't be so glum. It's okay! I think you guys are pretty dandy too. I don't need your pity. Makes a loss worse. Kiryu, just shut up and let us be. Fine, I'll gloat then! Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh my god! Dandyism. A load of bullshit. Hey, Dante san. I'm gonna grab a drink downstairs. <laughs> nah, sorry, but I gotta go. I have to get back! Oh, alright. I wanted to bond! Damn it. Carry you. Next time I won't lose. <laughs> oh my god! That was fucking glorious. So good. So good. That was everything I hoped a daddy quest would be. Yes. Yes. It's official, guys. Not that we didn't already know it, but Kira is truly the ultimate daddy. So, oh, this is got this got to be the most like circumstantial move ever. Change your bow saw immediately after throwing a weapon. How often do you chuck weapons, really? And then you feel the need. I gotta switch out of a style right then. Okay, kick combo. Press pressure the enemy with a powerful combo attack. Uses heat gauge. Brawler style. <laughs> oh, now you're back to having a bandit on your head. Huh. This guy's gonna go in a fight. Where are we? Underground arena. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here, day in and day out. It's a different kind of combative sport. A combating, better sporting event, you say? Hey. Hmm. Type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You, you amaze me to no end, Kiryu son. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I ever made. Huh? <laughs> this is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I want to kill people. This will be this kind of excitement I was craving. Yeah, sounds like you're willing to give it a go. Yes, I'm going to go enter right now. I should enter too. Fight your fat ass. <laughs> All right. Amazing. You won those three matches like there were nothing. Pretty sure that one dude at the end is dead. Good. So even the fires in the underground arena are barely war yeah. war for you, huh? No, everyone was really strong. Would say I won any of those matches with ease. Really? Why do you still look so dissatisfied? How observant of you, curious son You're right. I'm not satisfied yet. Not even the fighters here could give me the experience and excitement I seek. I see. It's gotta be me then, baby. I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. And that man is... <laughs> you, curious son Nani. Nani? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk. You moved like a dragon. It was amazing. And I moved like a butterfly. I love butterflies. You're saying that none of the fighters here do. Yeah. So you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Hey. Yes. Would you do me the uh, honor? Of course. Accept your challenge. Get ready to die. Just in case, though, I'm going to save. But not because I'm not confident in my abilities. Gersa, are you ready? I was born ready. Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fight fair and square with nothing to hold us back. Oh, God. How beefy is this guy going to be? Oh my god, he even put on his fucking judo outfit. Shinichi Shinohara. Oh yeah, you got a lot of help. Ah, ah. 
You come here, boy! Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! Don't you demon do it! You too slow, son! Ah! I kick! Ah! Taste my bare foot! So he's gonna go do Kwame action? Not yet. Oh! Oh! Here comes the energy! Come on! Come on, boy! Power's blowing off me. Ah! Blah, blah, blah. Dragon style. Oh! I'm coming up behind you, bitch! Choke him the fuck out. Come on, hit me. Oh, well, okay. Come on. Come on, hit me. Do it. Ah! Too slow, bitch. Too slow. I win. Here you, son. You were exactly the man I knew you'd be. You gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. No, it was more intense than I ever could have imagined. I'm surprised I won, honestly. <laughs> I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for you, Kiryu san. I'm glad I came to Kamurocho. Does that mean you're leaving? No, I'm going to stay here and keep improving my skills. And become the new Mr. Shakedown! So that if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. Yeah, is that so? I'll have to get my improving too. <laughs> I've been so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again, Kiryu san. Huh. So someone we'll see again? It just seems so weird, like. It seemed like he was significant, right? Oh. Shinichi Shinohara will not appear in the underground arena. Oh, okay. Wow, really? It only gave me that much experience? I expect it would be more than that. Oh yeah, what does the bag do? Oh, popular kid. Really? That's all. I, that's such a weird thing that that lady gave me, and I gave all the good answers too. All right, guys, that seems like a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, which is hopefully in 60 frames per second. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already a Peaky Penguin. For the SLB, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!